Which, you know, might actually be necessary for later on, so I'll keep that there. I don't believe you want to skip these moments. So anyway, this is the dancer the person was talking about. But I think... Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, hey, no, get your ass back over here. I fucked that up. How the fuck are we... Oh, you have to use the bomb to kill them. Oh no, I guess not. Can we use the arrow now? Hmm, weird. I just, I find it so weird they tell you to use the bomb when the hookshot is kind of the better option. Okay, so we can use the bow and arrow afterwards. Oh, and now it's blue fire, which technically blue fire is actually the hottest of all the fires because it actually sucks in more oxygen. Fun fact. Come here. Ah, oh, come on, so close. What do you do? Okay, one more. Now, I don't think green fire is hot as any of the fires. I don't think it's as hot as the blue fire. I don't know if green fire is a thing. I mean... I mean, when you really think about it, there is such thing as the sun, and there's a bunch of different stars out there that are that have uh, different flame, colored flames. Or at least, I, I don't know, because I don't know if they can actually tell that they have different colored flames. Because I don't think we actually know the color. Like, you know, we always used a blue to, like, distinguish Pluto from a lot of the other planets, but when we finally got a picture of it, it wasn't really blue. So, you know, there's that. Oh, nope, we're going the wrong way. Oh, never mind. <laughs> For some reason, I thought we had to blow that up. I guess not. Oop, what is this section? Oh, it's another one of those uh, blow up the... Uh, or hit the thing, but you can blow it up and uh, save yourself some time. Fuck this puzzle. You know what, I'm sure, I'm sure you had to do that for the fucking Master Quest version. I like how the I like how the camera thinks you're gonna be below when you're hitting it, so like it tries to pan down there, but then it's like, oh wait, no, you're already up here. Like what the hell game? Like they really didn't think people weren't gonna use bombs there. Oh this this section. Aw, oh, fuck this section if you're playing the Master Quest version. What they do is is that the the thing to because basically uh our treasure our our treasure in the dungeon is right up here and actually i'm gonna kill these fuckers i ain't gonna have no damn keys get in my damn way but anyway no no wait for it wait for it there we go so what they do is is that you have like literally frame perfect chances to get your to get over there and the only way to get around it is to use the fucking Scarecrow song. Which I never got ever in Zelda because I always thought it was just a pointless fucking thing. Who needs the damn Scarecrow song? Well, apparently, you, I mean, you don't need need it, but it's like it was, it's basically recommended. I'm worried about this because I do not want to fall. Patient, 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 patient. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. I got nervous there. So anyway, we got the Megaton Hammer. It's really an okay weapon, to be quite fair. The hammer itself just kind of has that, it's so powerful, it shakes the ground kind of thing. But you can't use your shield while you have it, so it's just kind of like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I guess that's cool, I guess. So with this, we can now hit some of these platforms, and also, if you try to go to different areas, you'll find- Oh, jeez, the camera really fucked up there. But if you try to go into certain areas, um, or certain switches, they're actually rusted, which means that you can't just hit them down on your own, you have to use the Megaton Hammer. Come on. 
Oh, there's two of you fuckers. Or did I just not hit you? I think I just didn't hit you. Oh wait, no, I forgot about this one. This is really stupid, this was just kind of show off graphics, nothing else. They want you to hit that to make this whole thing fall down and that's it. Like, we just got the Megaton Hammer, of course we're gonna hit everything that moves. Oh, was I supposed to break those things? Damn it, I wasn't supposed to break those things, fuck me. I was stupid, I'm like, I want another heart, cause, you know, just a heart and a half, two hearts. <laughs> just not enough for me you know I'm a, I'm a I'm privileged youth right here I gotta I gotta have my all of my hearts filled privileged youth I'm fucking 25 years old or 23 years old how did I think I was 25 I can't even get my own damn age right though to be fair I do have to think about it like no joke oh, fuck you guys I don't even care about half y'all go fuck yourself but no, seriously, I have to think about it. You're like, how old are you? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I gotta, I, I gotta look at my map. <laughs> gotta look at the calendar. Gotta do some math here. Like, what the fuck? So anyway, you have to do that. And another point. God, this Megaton Hammer kind of sucks. Link, why'd you do that for? Link! Oh, thank God he didn't get hurt. I was about to say, I'm like, Link, what? Why? Why? Anyway, this is one of those things you have to smack down to get it to open up. So there's that. Uh, this switch looks rusted, uh, Navi. I I already I already solved the problem. So you know you you just you just you just a tad late on that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But still you you're still considered late. I really don't get these block puzzles. Like, really, it's just like, why did I grab a bomb? Link! I'm just so used to pressing something that makes me go, oh, yeah, technically you could have, uh... If you knew the Switch was here, you could technically play the song, but it's still rusted, so you actually have to smack it down, so... It's like, it's like you, you, you think you could sequence break, but technically you can't. God, you know, if only I read that specific. Yeah, for once they're like, oh, the Goron special crop won't work. But no, if only I read that one, because we're going to find out, uh... <laughs> we're going to find out soon how what I fucked up with. Why I am, like, one of the dumbest fucking kids on the entire fucking planet. We are going to find out soon enough. But before then, I think I still need to take on the rest of this area, I think. First things first, if you knock this thing down, it goes down into the very first portion of the game, so keep that in mind. So the, the one, the door with Daruni and stuff, alright. Also, if I remember correctly, I think, yes, the, the hammer blows up that door. Because I think we still have to, oh no, we already went over there, we have to go over here now. I think anyway. Link just can't catch a break. Alright then, where does this door lead? Ooh! I think we just found the compass! You know, I'm not even gonna lie, I kinda missed the speed up button from playing Pokemon, uh, Moemon so much. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just kind of sick of saying Link opened up that thing a bunch of times. It's like, Link, just, just open the damn thing. Wait, what? Oh, uh, we just go in a damn circle. We're in the same fucking room. How did I not remember that? How did I think we were in a different fucking room? Welp, I'm stupid. Shio. Anyway, yeah, I think we can actually head down here now. Oh, damn it, Link. What'd you do that for? So yeah, this lava is apparently hot enough to hurt us, but not the other lava. That lava doesn't count. That lava's a loser. So now that we're back here, it's time to show you guys how stupid I was. Okay, so I don't know if I, don't know if I told you guys this, but after the, after the, it's like after in the middle of the forest temple, I got a strategy guide for this game because, well, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to know everything I could about this game. Biggest issue was I hated reading. 
And there were two really popular strategy guides at the time, I don't remember what they were. But one of them was like a very detailed, like it showed you everything on how to beat that, how to beat the fucking game. Now first I want that damn keys to attack me. Oh, here we go. There we go. So anyway, I, I wanted, you know, I wanted to know everything about it. And, you know, the guide really just gave a lot of good pictures and everything. Where the other guide was basically just FAQ. Well, when, you know, I was a kid, I had my mother go out and get me one, and she could only find the one that was just like a, like a, like a, like a game fax, basically. And one of the pictures they had showed Link with the Megaton Hammer, like, going across here, and, um, like, like, halfway swinging. And as a kid, his halfway swing looked like you were supposed to run into this thing like this. So I, not even fucking joking you, just kept running into this thing over and over and over again. Like, literally, I did this non-stop. I'm thinking, oh, you know, I think I see it move. I think I see it move just a little bit. I don't know if you guys do that. I, I still do that when playing games sometimes where I'm like, I think this is the way to do it. I, I, I think I'm making progress here. So I, I kept thinking I was actually moving the damn thing. Seriously. I'm not even fucking joking. I did that so many times because I was too lazy, lazy to to try to read and get up to that point. Now, in my defense, I do think I, I you know, it's a it's an issue with game facts as well. I've I've been noticing it while I've been playing. I didn't. Why do I keep bringing up bombs? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but you know, you know, I know I noticed that with even when, when playing Zelda two with the with the Zelda two with um, Zelda dungeon. And it's caused me some issues because, like, it, it's not caused issues, but it's kind of difficult sometimes because it's like, okay, you need to do this specific thing here, and it's like, well, technically I can't do this. It's like, well, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do, you know, I, you're telling me I can do this specific thing, but can I really do this specific thing? Because you just, you don't know where you're going in that game. It's like, you have to take a left and then take a right and then after this location, but, you know, you kind of don't know what they're talking about. So it, you know, I think it would have been nice if they used the more, I, I don't know if that was just more of a modern thing where right underneath it, it's like the only way to move this block is if you have the Megaton Hammer or something, which a lot more uh, common, which you see a lot more in uh, reviews and stuff now. They have little captions underneath stuff. But yeah, no, I was just, I was so fucking stupid. I just kept running into that. It's, it's an embarrassing moment for me when I look back into the, my gaming and, um, and it's something I wanted to share with all of you. So there we go. <laughs> I hope you're happy now that I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> God, I don't even know how old I was when I did that, too. I know... I'm trying to fucking think here. Hey, bombs work. I didn't even know they worked. Well, that's honestly better than the hook shot, so just use bombs. So anyway, yep, that's my that's one of my most embarrassing moments while playing games because I'm fucking stupid. Oh no, not another one. Let's see if bombs actually works against these guys pretty well. Well, I guess they do, huh? I hit you like ten fucking times, asshole. Get over here. I think we have to fight this motherfucker like like two more times. I don't even know what this motherfucker does. Like it's like you know immediately what to do. You know because of the way his body is that you're supposed to use the hook shot, and then you have the other guy telling you to do the the bomb. So like in reality, there's like a bunch of different ways to fucking do this. So it's like I don't even know what this guy's fucking attacks are. Like seriously, let's fucking watch because I'm just fucking curious at this point. Is that it? Do you literally just throw? Oh, that's right. You actually shoot around the room. Forgot about that, you do that too. Alright, I'm gonna grab the hook shot now. You know, he's actually a lot more difficult to fight if you let him go. Which is it which I always find weird because uh which, you know, when you think about it, actually, is kind of a thing that kind of got improved with future Zelda games, where this game is just kind of, you know... I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's just like, you know, it, it's a... I don't want to say product of its time, because it's not like it's... Uh, it's not like it's saying any current politics kind of things, but, um... But, um... 
Because, you know, back in the day, it's like, you know, they just probably thought, okay, well, we're just going to leave an opening in the beginning and then blah, blah, blah. But if, they, but if they keep leaving themselves in an opening, then it's really just kind of, what's the point of the whole thing? Where, like, here it's like, uh, in future Zelda games, they would have had him coming out immediately spinning in circles. Where you could still technically get his weakness, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And then he'll have to, then, like, his flames would run low. And then it's like, okay, now I'm going to slowly but surely, uh... You know, I'm, I'm running out of flames, so now I have to charge myself back up again. So, that, that's probably what that whole thing was about. Or, no, that, that's, just, that's just how I feel, I think. The design of Zelda games just got better as, as the as future went on. As much as I really love this game, and I do think there's a lot of things that I, I do find to be very, um... That I, that I don't think a lot of future Zelda games kind of brought back. Like, I, I love the amount of dungeons in this game, I just, I don't think... I think Twilight Princess was the only one that kind of matched up to it. Even though I'm sure some people are like, well, some of the dungeons were kind of sucky. And it's like, yeah, well, you're kind of right. But, <laughs> or, or like how uh, they, because they had a lot of mini dungeons too. They just, they really liked using dungeons in this game. And I have to say, I really appreciate that. 